I think if we go and we explain to these reporters, right? You guys have seen this chat GPT and I'm uh, putting a lot of this stuff together for the quantum party here. Uh, with these AI tools, I can essentially have a person that looks exactly like me or anyone reading the exact script that I say in exactly the way that I say it. And now, if you're on TV news, what do I need you for, right? What's, what's even the point of you? You can go and chat with GPT. And if I want something to just regurgitate me, you know, 500 words of an article talking about this, uh, playing to all the traditional liberal pieties, there's a thing that exists for that called chat GPT. So they got to understand, if they don't get on board with this with us, the mainstream media has got to understand, the raccoon dog media, they got to understand, if they don't get on board with us, give it five to 10 years and guess what? All of them are out of a job too, right? They don't need script readers anymore. They don't need people who are just going to pair at the line. They have AI to do that. Every single thing that they do could be easily done by AI. And why, why wouldn't you? If that's, it'd be way more profitable. Instead of paying uh, Anderson Cooper $20 million to you know, read a script every night for an hour, why would you not just get an AI, person, an AI rendering of someone who looks exactly like Anderson Cooper for free, who just reads the exact script that you want, right? So they're going to see that in this uh, AI world that we're moving into here faster than ever. Anybody can go look this up. They are going to be just as left behind and irrelevant as the rest of us, no matter how politically connected or no matter how obsequious to the oligarchs that they are. So they should probably um, have a little bit more self-awareness and understand the danger that they personally are in, too. Yeah. So that's a fun conversation I like to have with these guys. And